Hi and welcome to the latest video of the GMR TV channel. In today's video we're going to take a look at Windows 10 and how to unjoin an Azure AD domain if we have accidentally joined that domain which can happen for example after Windows 10 installation when you provide your Office 365 credentials. Doesn't really matter how you end up there but what is important is that we're going to help you fix it. Now you may notice that I'm out of sync with my lips because I forgot to record this part of the video, the audio at least. And I should mention this video is not sponsored by XSplit. I was just trying out a new feature which watermarks the entire screen but you know I'm leaving it in to show the, that I'm still very much a beginner and that it's a reminder for me to you know do better next time. We're going to move on with the video and head to the desktop using Windows 10 like I said and we have a computer that is joined to an Azure AD domain as you can see I have joined an Azure AD domain by accident this can happen if for example you are installing Windows 10 and uh, you add your Office 365 credentials and while that is a setup that can work for some organizations like you have this mixed setup where some devices are not technically part of the company domain as in it's not a part of the office setup but you still want control over it you could join the Azure AD domain without needing a like a local user for the network so you don't need access to printers and local shares but you do want an Office 365 connection but let's assume that that's not what you want and that you want to unjoin the Azure AD domain. In this video we're going to show you how to do that. And it has become a little bit easier since we originally made the video. So we're lucky in that regard. We're going to make our screen a whole lot bigger. And we're going to log on. As you can see I'm the user Grady Archie which is one of the users that are created for you when you use the one of the packs or Office 365 developers in which you get a bunch of users that are created for you. Grady Archie is logging in to his computer with it, which is actually a Hyper-V virtual machine. One of my favorite ways to virtualize and my password is incorrect so we're going to do that again. Come on, don't make me wait. I don't want to have to edit out this entire part of the video. Your organization requires Windows Halo. That's great. Ever since joining the Azure AD, I get reminders that I need to set up a pin. Which will do, I guess, so that you can suffer through me. Gradia at my company name has set up a password. Let's uh, log in again. We have texted your phone. You also need to set up your phone. So that's two reasons why you may not want to set up this kind of connection. But like I said, if you want to join a domain, like have access to some of the tools and make life easier without joining the physical... Uh, your organization has deleted this device. I am pretty sure we did no such thing, but... Let's rejoin the domain, I guess, only to unjoin it later. I'm sorry for the glitches. Um, in the previous 10 takes of the video, this worked perfectly. The only downside of those videos was that I forgot to enable my microphone, which means that there was no sound whatsoever. Um, this is one of the fun reasons you may not want to join the Azure AD domain, because although nothing happened, the Azure AD magically forgot that my computer had joined the domain. If this is taking too long, I'm going to go back to another version of Windows 10 when I when I installed a little longer ago because this is not very convenient. Something went wrong, we weren't able to set up your PIN. Sometimes it helps to try again or skip for now. Isn't that great? That's one of the great reasons why you may want to skip 
HOID all together, zoom level. I'm going to try and figure out where my screen magically decreased in resolution. I guess there is no real answer. Let's see if this all this only makes it worse for you guys. Let's just personalize the display settings. Everyone who says that Windows 10 is the perfect system has never had a day like this where everything goes wrong. See, it magically changed the display settings with this great because there was no reason whatsoever to do that. Um, if you're still with me, we're going to continue with the user account and unjoining the domain. As you can see, we're going to start and then accounts. Now, this may vary in your language. Try and look uh, it up, I suppose. It's under system settings. And what we're going to do is we're going to click that and then we're going to see that under access, work or school, that I joined the domain. And uh, I want to unjoin that, but I'm going to show you the fastest step to do this. The Wrong step would be to click it now and disconnect because you will get a message that you need to create another user. We're going to do that straight away instead of having Microsoft instruct us. We're going to go to other users and we're going to click other users again. Now Microsoft is suggesting that we use a Microsoft account which is the account you use to log in to Outlook.com or OneDrive or Xbox. Or Windows, if you have set up your Windows 10 that way. Personally, that's how I work. How I prefer to work in my devices so that I can share the settings. But we're not going to do that. We're going to have to say that we don't have this person's sign-in information. Because you'll notice that Microsoft is hell-bent on using a Microsoft account. See, we said we don't have the information. So why not create an account? This is when you have an existing email address. If you don't have an email address, well, you can just make one and make a Microsoft account. Or you can choose the option that you might prefer. Add a user without a Microsoft account. Just a moment, who's going to use the PC? I'm going to cheat a little bit because I for keep forgetting the name of the user. Grady is going to use this PC. And now you're going to notice one of the new security features, which is actually more of a nuisance. Because if you now want to create a local user, you are asked to set up security questions for your own PC. Hallelujah. We're just going to enter some fake information because it doesn't really matter. This is just a VM. What was your First pet's name, my first pet's name was Liger, t Tiger. Second question, what was your childhood nickname? Also Liger to Tiger. And if that wasn't enough, let's see if this works. Nope, we have to take all three questions. What's the name of the first school you attended? College of Liger, why not? As you can see, this new feature is designed to annoy us to death. Now we are going to make sure that the user has administrator rights after restarting the computer because otherwise you might not end up in the best scenario. Now it is possible that Microsoft is going to prompt you to elevate this user account after leaving the domain, but why take the risk? We're going to change the account type and uh, make him an administrator and then do okay and we can easily do that because the user that we're using the the grady a user is also an administrator by default you can see it under other users if you happen to join the azer ad with a user uh, uh, an Office 365 user, you automatically end up becoming an administrator of your own PC, which is a nice feature, I suppose. Um, if there is a an admin in your company who doesn't want you to be an administrator, I suppose he has to set up Azure ID in the way that it syncs with the 
local AD server so that he can force you to be a standard user. But that hasn't happened yet and that's not really relevant. So we created a user account and now we can unjoin the Azure AD domain. We're going to do that by going to access work or school and then we're going to click this user disconnect we're getting this prompt where we are asked if we are sure if we want to remove the account it will remove access to a bunch of things yes we're just going to say yes after disconnecting you won't be able to sign into this pc with the organization account that was the idea so we're going to click disconnect again enter alternate account information you now have to provide an administrator user that can take over so we're entering grady's information and password and now we have to restart our pc um, you just click restart now button and once that's done you the pc will restart and you'll have to log in with a new user i mean let's just do that where we've gotten so far we're going to restart the windows 10 pc we're seeing the hyper v screen and this time it doesn't magically forget the display settings although i suppose oh as you can see it changed the name of the user remember that we just called him grady we can now log in under the standard user, which is going to take a while. Um, so let's rephrase the steps while the desktop is loading. First of all, you want to log in with the user. Remember to use your Office 365 password since that's what you signed up with. Then you're going to go to the start menu, system settings, accounts. Then you're going to go to other user first. And then you're going to add the local account by ignoring the prompts to use a Microsoft account. Once that's set up, elevate it to an administrator account. Go to the Access Work or School tab. Click the account. Uh, click that you want to disconnect, confirm, and so on and so on. We have now restarted the Windows 10 PC. And you can see that it's a clean start because we're asked to give Microsoft a bunch of permissions. I'm going to do something that you should never do. When you see these screens, I'm going to click everything without reading them. In reality, read everything carefully. You don't have to click accept on every screen. I'm just doing that because we can get rid of the prompts. Just a moment. Now Microsoft wants us to use Microsoft Edge. We're not going to do that whatsoever. And I want to go back to the account to show you guys that we are now using Gar Grady's new account. Under your info, we can now see that Grady is a local account and an administrator. And Microsoft wants us to use a Microsoft account again. It's telling us that we are idiots because we don't know how to create a Microsoft account or how to log into it. Access work or school is now blank. Now, if you wish, you could connect the, A the Office 365 account again by clicking on connect here. The advantage would be that your Office 365 account would be linked to the apps that are mentioned here, like um, the mail app and the calendar app and whatever else they are mentioning uh, apps like that may be a bit advanced but in some scenarios your network admin might provide some apps that you can download from the store but we're not going to look and as you can see things change around here other users is now family and other users and you can set up other users the same way and they're going to connect from microsoft account again so that was it for this video. Today we've covered it how to unlink the PC from an Azure AD, AD domain if you join it and that's not what you want. And we looked at how you can create a local account. Thank you for watching this video and we're looking forward to seeing each other the next time. Take care.